A video movie like this looks rather boring to the audience. However, if some movement is brought into the picture, suddenly it will be filled with life and looks much more professional. Such a camera movement can easily be achieved with a slider. Unfortunately, such device is still very expensive and you have to spend $500 to $1000 for a commercially available slider. With this tutorial, I want to show you a simple solution to build your own camera slider, which every filmer should have to provide your films with smooth Hollywood shots at a fraction of the cost of ready-made equipment. If movies are made in a crowded environment amongst people, it won't be very eye-catching because of its tiny measurements. Looking to YouTube, we can see a lot of homemade sliders. However, most of them have decisive disadvantages. Either they are too complex and too complicated, for instance with stepper motors, two spells and big batteries, which involves automatically also high cost along with high noise level when in use. Some are even using rollerblade wheels, which makes the stuff then very heavy. Or the design is too simple and mostly not very stable and will not provide satisfactory results for serious filming when cluttering, not smooth sliding and are not jerkless enough. Here I will introduce my solution, which is constructed out of an 1 meter aluminum angle rail with the dimension 60 by 25 millimeters. This material is available in hardware stores. The length of my slider is 40 cm only. This decision is based on two reasons. First, it has to fit into the case of my tripod for easy transportation. And second, this size usually serves a purpose very well as can be seen from the sample footages. However, any length up to 1 meter can be built according to individual requirements. To construct a U-profile, a second rail is necessary, which has to be fixed at the other end of the main rail with a few countersink screws. This part is also made from aluminum of the smaller size 15 by 10 millimeters. Four rubber bumpers were fixed for the use without tripod underneath on a flat surface. To reinforce the middle area with a one quarter inch tripod thread, a small 3 mm plate with the dimensions of 40 by 55 mm has been fixed with a two component glue as well as fastened with two additional countersink screws. In the final version of the slider, it will be better to place this plate on the opposite side. The thread for the tripod was made with a one quarter inch tap. To assure and make it safe to a maximum that the valuable camera cannot slide out of the railing, a spring-loaded pin has been attached on the front side of the slider. This small rod has been built from a bicycle spoke. The spring is simply taken out from an old ball pen. Now we are going to discuss the important camera base plate or sledge running on the rail system and controlling a smooth movement of the camera. The 12mm thick PVC plate has been generated from an available breakfast board. However, any other suitable hard plastic can also be used. On this base plate, two aluminum sheet material brackets are fixed, though that the camera will be held on place when pulling it upwards and no accidental uplift will be possible. The only difficulty could be the milling of the guidance slot with the dimensions 2.7 to 2.8 mm width and 8 mm depth according to the drawing. In my case, I could manufacture it with the help of an available very tiny circular saw with 50 mm blade diameter. This little bracket is used as a stopper. The screw underneath will hold the parallel fishing line used to pull the camera sledge from one side to the other. This line is wrapped around a deflection pulley to give the hand a better physiological pulling direction to achieve a smoother gliding. Such an return pulley is shown here. Actually, it's only a fixed cylinder. Initially, this arrangement was not planned and it was later on applied separately. However, it should better be integrated in the main rail. Now, the camera base has been placed onto the rail system. As it can be seen, it can easily and very smoothly be slided from one end to the other. This without producing any noticeable noise and without clattering. Low noise is appreciated when original sound has to be recorded simultaneously on the go. This is a great advantage of this construction. 
The demonstration shows clearly the smooth forward movement required for Hollywood-like slidings. All this without casters or electrical drives. No, a speed control is also not necessary. All the movements can be controlled by hand and any desired speed can be performed at once without pre-programming. You only have to pull back the spring-loaded lock to remove the camera base plate. Then it can be slided out and separated from the rail system. Those side brackets enclosing the lower main guidance rails and prohibit a camera lifting. Thus a very safe operation is possible without jeopardizing the camera. This demonstration shows that there's left side a stopper and right side a stopper and by no means the camera base can be slipped out of the rails and is very good secured. All test footage have been taken at very low outside temperature of only 0 degrees centigrade with bare hands. Still the results are rather good although done at freezing temperature. Now here we can see the tripod back as well as a tripod and on the bottom the camera slide has already been placed. And if this is already protected with a piece of cloth then I can put the tripod as well in. And if I pull the zip we can look into the camera back and everything is neat and clean packed. Underneath the tripod you can see the camera slider. Further on front you see the camera base plate. However, I will leave it in these conditions and not unpack it again. At the end, I will introduce a little addition. A further deflection pulley has been added and by this measure we can half the speed of the camera base plate, resulting in a more even and smooth forward feed. Here we can see the scene, the little creek Loisach on which the shooting took place. And here now 
the actual footage of the slide using an extreme tenfold Taylor zoom, which makes the shot even more difficult. Now I hope you enjoyed the video and I wish you good luck in case you are also going to build such a nice camera slide.